Hi, everybody. Welcome tonight as we talk about a little bit from about Scripture. I invited you here tonight to um, to talk about, um, I said, a piece of what we find behind us, uh, a piece of the decoration. And so um, I'm going to take a piece of this decoration and talk about it tonight. We're going to read about it from the scripture. And we're going to talk about how, how the, that piece is found in Jesus' life and, and, how, and what it teaches us uh, or it teaches us about that place in Jesus' life. And, um, and we're, so we're going to read some scripture. We're going to talk. It's kind of a, it's kind of a uh, maybe geared towards the kids, um, uh, and we're going to take that piece and, and uh, yeah, learn something about Jesus tonight. And then we're going to pray. And, um, but before we do that, I, I, just wanted to, um, I just wanted to say that, um, so for the next few days, leading up all the way to the day before Easter, we're going to take, uh, we are going to take, one piece from up here and see how it ties into scripture into the last uh, kind of week of Jesus life and then we're going to try to learn something about Jesus from it and so there's uh, from my count there's about um, I think there's 10 or 11 I maybe uh, yeah there's certain pieces that um, that we're going to look at and uh, tonight, I'm going to go grab the one we're going to talk about, and we're going to read a, a piece of scripture that talks about it, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to see how we learn about Jesus. So let me get it a minute. We're going to talk about the palm branch. Now, a lot of you say, well, it's not Palm Sunday yet. Well... I understand that, but there's a lot of pieces up here that, uh, uh, so we have to start a little early. Um, but the palm branch, uh, and we're going to read from John chapter 12 tonight. Um, and in our Bibles, it might say triumphal entry, um, uh, or it's, uh, it's uh, kind of this, it's, it's kind of this dramatic uh, parade uh, full of uh, all kinds of people and noise and stuff and 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 in John it's it's not as spectacular as it is in other books other gospels but um, but we're going to look at and most of the things we're going to look at we're going to look at from the gospel of John um, but we're going to look at the palm branch uh, tonight and so uh, let me read for you read for us John chapter 12 and it's going to be it's going to be uh, verses 12 through 19 this is what the Bible says the next day and that's um, the day after there was a, a, a party see Jesus had raised a man named Lazarus from the grave and uh, when he came to Bethany or on his way to Jerusalem, um, they threw him a party. And so it was the day after the party. It says the next day, the great crowd that had come for the feast, and that's uh, for the feast of the Passover feast, uh, they had come for the feast, heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches, right? palm branches and uh, they went out to meet him so they took palm branches went out to meet him shouting Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord blessed is the king of Israel Jesus found a young donkey and he sat on it as it is written do not be afraid, O daughter of Zion. See, your king comes, seated on a donkey's colt. At first, 
His disciples did not understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize these things had been written about him and that they had, been, they had done these things to him. Now the crowd that was with him when, they, when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to spread the word. Many people, because they had heard that he had given this miraculous sign, went out to meet him. So the Pharisees said to one another, See, this is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone after him. Well, when we think about the palm branch and we think about Jesus' life, we read about Palm Sunday because we, we believe that this was, uh, we understand that this was the first day of the week and, and Jesus was riding into Jerusalem. And so what we read is kind of like a parade. I don't know if you've been to a parade before. Uh, some parades they throw candy. Uh, some parades they have all kinds of, of um, uh, well, in Raymond we have a parade, right? Uh, the Harvest Festival Parade, and we throw candy, and people clap, and it's a lot of fun, and and people are happy and boisterous, and, and, and this was kind of like a parade. Jesus was coming in Jerusalem, and people who had heard great things about Jesus we're coming to see him and to enter him or into, to greet him as he came into Jerusalem. And they took palm branches and they waved them. Now, I wonder if you know what a palm branch really signifies. Maybe you can talk in your families a little bit about what does a palm branch mean? Well, a palm branch is something that signifies victory victory so so it used to be when uh kings would go to different places and they would conquer and they'd come back from battle and they they had won right they were they were riding into the to the to the city to tell people that they had won people would wave palm branches in front of them and say victory it 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 said that the king was victorious, and so they would ra- wave these palm branches at the, at the king and, and, and to signify that he was a victorious king. Now, they also said something, right? They had palm branches that signified victory, but they also said something. They, they, they shouted to Jesus, Hosanna. Now, the word Hosanna means rescue or save right save 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 and they were shouting that to Jesus and they were waving these palm branches that said victory and and then they said blessed is the king of Israel see see Jesus had done some very uh, some great things some mighty things and one of the things we already mentioned is he This man named Lazarus was raised from the dead. Jesus went in front of a tomb and he called Lazarus' name and he came out. Lazarus came out. And and Jesus, right, that story, and as people went on spreading that story about Lazarus and what Jesus had done for Lazarus, that story was, was proving that Jesus was mightier than death itself. He was victorious. And, and what, it, what it really signified, or what this parade, this waving the palm branches and shouting Hosanna and talking about Jesus as the king, the people wanted Jesus as their king. They wanted Jesus to come in and to kick those Romans right out of Jerusalem. They wanted, to, they wanted Jesus to throw them out, to throw out the, the, the Romans. And so, and, 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 and they wanted him as a king. But see, Jesus wasn't that king. 
See, Jesus wasn't what the people wanted. He wasn't that king. He wasn't what the people wanted him to be. Yeah, Jesus was a king, and we know him as a king. And, and even at Christmas time, we, we, uh, hear about, uh, we, we hear about the wise men coming to talk about, uh, talking about where's the king that was been born, king of the Jews. And, and uh, Jesus was a king, but he wasn't the king that the people wanted. See, Jesus was a king that was riding into Jerusalem to, to die, to do the opposite of what you would think of a conquering, mighty, victorious savior king would do. He was going to die in a few days. Even as the, as the Pharisees said, what we're, what we're doing is futile, right? The whole world is going after, after this Jesus. Even though the whole world had gone after Jesus, they had gone after the Jesus that they wanted. Jesus wasn't going to be that. He wasn't going to be what they wanted. Jesus was going to be something different. You know, Jesus did, Jesus is victorious. We ought to wave palm branches in front of Jesus. And I, I can't imagine what's going to happen when, when Jesus comes back uh, in glory, riding on the clouds, as the Bible says. Are we going to have, are we going to have palm branches to wave in front of him as the victorious king? Jesus is coming back. There'll be one grand parade, one grand celebration, and we'll shout Hosanna. He saves. But see, John chapter 12 teaches us that we can't make Jesus into something that we want Jesus to be. We can't, we can't treat Jesus like, a, like something we keep in our pocket and when we when we need it, we pull it out and we, and we think it's special and we use it and then we put it back. We can't make Jesus to be a lucky charm. We can't make Jesus to be a butler. You know, Jesus says in different parts of the scriptures, ask me anything in my name and I'll give it to you. But Jesus isn't a butler. Jesus isn't a bank. Jesus is a servant, a servant king who, who goes all the way to giving his life to earn something for us that we could never get for ourselves, to be victorious over death and victorious over things that are in our lives, the sin and the bad things that we do and, 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 and how we disobey Jesus is victorious by taking that away from us. He's that kind of king. We can't make him into a butler or a banker or a, or a lucky charm. So as we think about this Jesus and how he is a king and how he does, he does things for us and he went and he died for us, as we think about that and we can't make him into what we want, that means we have to ask him to make us into what he wants. Because that's where Jesus is victorious. Making us into something that he wants us to be. To be his people. To love him. To tell him about what Jesus did on the cross. And, and so, yeah. Let's take tonight and Let's take the next tomorrow and think about Jesus making him, making us into what he wants us to be. Because he's the mighty king, he can, he can bring someone out of the grave. He can certainly change us into something that he wants us to be. So let's, let's ask Jesus to do that. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the image of the palm branch. 
and for what that signifies in us and in in from your word what it signifies to us that that it points us to a victorious king who saves but not in the ways that we think jesus we can't make you into a lucky charm we can't make you into a banker or a butler you are the king you are the king who who equal the equal to God and everything should have praised you you gave it all up to to die for your people to be a king who suffers and a servant who gives up, gave his life and so tonight God we ask that you would make us into the people that you want us to be Lord help us to to understand by your spirit and help us to to never look at a palm branch the same. Yes, you are a victorious king. You are, you are the one who saves, but that means you turn your people into things that you want, not you being people, what people want. So God, change us. Change us by your spirit. Change us by your word, especially in this time, in these few weeks as we, we go up to Easter. God, we pray. Lord, we lift up those who need you in a special way, those who are are having a hard time of being alone in certain places. Lord, we we know that though we're divided and we have to spend time apart, and Lord, you are you've joined us together in Jesus. And so we pray that you would that you would be mighty, a mighty God who speaks to us in different ways speaks to us from your word, speaks to us by having a friend call us on the phone and and lifts us up. God, be with those who struggle with with anxiety and depression and and wonder about what the future holds. God, be a change them into people who who have peace in Jesus. Father, we think about those who are are um helping people who are sick. We think about people who are um, who want to be working but can't. We think about students who are doing work at home and it's different and it's not necessarily what they want, but God, we pray that in all those circumstances and all those situations that you would that you would give peace and comfort. Lord, we thank you for our families, for the way we can gather together and worship you. We thank you for the time that we have, for the walks outside that we can experience and and see different things. Thank you for the ways in which we see our communities helping and gathering around people who need, who are in need. God, we thank you for that. Lord, bless us in the coming days as we take a piece um, from around this cross and we look at it and how it points us to Jesus and how we we can be people changed into who you want us to be in Jesus. God, we thank you for that. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to say good night and I'll see you tomorrow night. And we're going to look at another piece from up here. And, and I hope you can, uh, I hope you watch and are excited. Let me know. Um, you can have your mom and dad text or you can text me or email me or um, with different things, uh, comments. Um, and uh, I'm still learning sometimes how to use the uh, technology and the equipment. Um, but, um, and, and if there's things you want specifically prayed about, let me know and, and I can include that. Um, but uh, I just want to encourage you um, that Jesus can and he will change us into, into people uh, that he wants us to be. And we can trust him with that. And we can trust him not only with our lives, but we can in the future, but we can trust him with our lives now. And... Um, and he will see us through. So I just want to encourage you that way. And um, and as we uh, we do this, I hope it's fun. I hope, um, uh, and, and as we have fun and learn about this, I pray that God would um, open.
open our eyes to see more of him. So good night, and we'll see you again.